what doctor should I choose that will actually help me? I want to go over the different options available to you. And many of you have heard me say before that I hate doctors that use the term functional or integrative or naturopath when they don't actually follow through and test and treat that way. So this is going to be a game changer for you. And you can probably hear the excitement in my voice. The latest introduction, the latest member of the family to the fixer line is metabolism fixer. And this, oh my God, I formulated this just for all my people out there that need to lose weight, that need help in the weight loss department, that can't lose weight no matter what they do, that feel like they have a slow metabolism. And it might be thinking of trying all those peptides out there. You know, the Beverly Hills soccer mom drug of choice for weight loss peptides. Or even if you're on them already and you're like, man, these are really expensive and I'm still not losing weight. Add in metabolism fixer. Here's what I did. I took the power of T2, which increases your basal metabolic rate while you are sitting there watching Netflix. You're burning fat while you're watching Netflix. I combined it with a very unique patented ingredient called Suppressa. Suppressa has multiple clinical trials backing its efficacy in reducing your appetite, decreasing snacking, and providing way more control over your food intake. It is amazing. We also see improved emotional well-being, just decreased food cravings all around, reduced hunger, and weight management. Add on top of that, we have green tea extract, we have purple forest purple tea extract, both of which affect the metabolism in a very positive way without the jitters of normal fat burning supplements out there from the 1980s and 90s, right? The ones that made you feel like you're having a heart attack. You will not have that in any of my supplements, thyroid fixer or metabolism fixer. But metabolism fixer, ooh, yeah, we kicked it up a notch. It is in powder form, so you can drink it through your day. It's gonna flavor your water. We got orange crush and refreshing citrus. I love them both. It is going to keep you under control all day long. So you throw a couple scoops in your water bottle in the morning, throw a scoop or two in your water bottle throughout the day. You will have fat burning and appetite control the entire day for what? An eighth of a price of the peptides? Oh my God, you can't go wrong. So grab some metabolism fixer today. Please let me know how you do on it. I am super excited for you. Super excited. So I want to break it down for you, each one of those specialties. So you know what to look for when you're struggling, right? So let's do this. Thanks for listening to the Thyroid Fixer podcast with your host, me, Dr. Amy Horneman, aka the Thyroid Fixer. Also functional medicine practitioner, hormone and weight loss expert. We're talking all things thyroid, hormone, and health-related in order to empower, educate, and transform you. Remember, I fix your thyroid, I fix your hormones, I fix your life. So let's get started. If you're listening, then you're suffering, right? Or you're just trying to learn more. But many of you are suffering with symptoms and you're trying to find answers and you're like, I hope this lady tells me what the hell is going on with me. So that's why you're here. That's why you listen to my podcast. I greatly appreciate it, by the way. And I try to give you, at least I do hear from my listeners. They're like, listen, I've learned so much from you, more than I've learned from my doctor in 10 years. So that's great. That's my goal. But in addition to learning about your health and how your thyroid works and how your hormones work, we have to break down the options available to you to actually get help. It's one thing for you to learn about it, but if you can't get the testing, I mean, yeah, you can order your own testing from Ulta. I get that. But ultimately, if you have insurance and you're paying for insurance, it'd be really nice if you worked with somebody that could test everything that you need tested and actually get it run through your insurance. So you need somebody that's actually going to test everything that we always talk about. If they're testing TSH only for your thyroid, if they're testing TSH and free T4 only for your thyroid, it's time to get a new doctor. And I have seen 
many times patients come to me and they say, well, I just, I just spent thousands on a functional doctor and here are my lives. I <laughs> go, if there is a governing board that could reach out and strip people of their licenses or at least their titles, I wish there was because I would have that person's functional term stripped out of all of their marketing so that you could not be fooled again. That is not functional practice. Testing TSH and free T4, not functional. Giving you T4 only, not functional, not integrative, not naturopathic at all. All right, let's start with the big ones. You got your endos. Now, this is worth saying because many of you are still new and I see this in the Facebook groups and I see people say, okay, I, I finally have an appointment with an endocrinologist in six weeks. <laughs> you're wasting your time. That's six more weeks that you're going to suffer with weight gain and hair loss and low energy and low libido and constipation. And then you're going to go in and you're going to completely waste your time. I've said this number before. It is worth saying again. I've been doing this for over 25 years. I see patients in the U.S., Canada, the UK, Australia, South America, New Zealand, and maybe there's one in Denmark, definitely one in Amsterdam. And I have on my list, because I have a list of good endos, and literally one just got taken off the list last week, my list of good endos, there are two, maybe three total. So that's multiple countries spanning 25 years. And that's not just my personal experience, like just me going to the endos. I've gone to a lot of bed endocrinologists, but that's my patients reporting back. And you know, if you suffer from a thyroid condition, all y'all have been to at least one endo, haven't you? One of you, you've all been to at least, all of you have been to at least one endocrinologist, maybe more than that, only to be disappointed. Now, if you're out there and you're like, I have this kick-ass, amazing endocrinologist that I see, and he or she does all the testing that you like to see, they do reverse T3, they do free T3, oh my gosh, they gave me T3 when I asked for it, and, and this endo noticed that my T3 levels were low, then please tell me the name so I can add it to my list. Maybe I'll build up to four or five in 25 years in multiple countries. I want the list. But most of you, I am betting money, most of you have had a great disappointment going to see an endocrinologist. And you think that this person is going to help you because they actually have endo in their title. And last time I checked, the thyroid was part of the endocrine system. So you would think if you are a specialist and you don't remember, you go through med school and then if you are going to go into a specialty, that's another few years of just focusing on that specialty. So those endocrinologists have actually went through additional training in the what? Endocrine system. <sighs> just pisses me off to think about it and talk about it and the thyroid gland and your sex hormones like testosterone and progesterone and estrogen and DHEA and pregnenolone are all part of the endocrine system. Now, they seem to be great at treating diabetes. You got diabetes, they will they will give you the medication for diabetes, they will put you on insulin if your pancreas is shit the bed. That box is definitely checked with endocrinologists. But if your thyroid is off and that's what's causing you to be insulin resistant and that is what is pushing you into type 2 diabetes, you're screwed because you are not going to be treated, but you definitely will continue to go on more and more diabetic medication. And nutritionally, you will... <laughs> Nutritionally, you will not be told to avoid carbohydrates. I laugh because I remember a patient coming in with literally their diet plan that was given to them by a registered dietitian that worked at the endocrinologist's office. They had full-blown type 2 diabetes. 
And I, I, I shit you not, the day started with orange juice. Now, let's just back up for a second. I'm going to side note here because I want you guys to think because many of you might be, well, what's wrong with orange juice? It's a fruit. It has antioxidants in it. Let's say you're giving blood and you're about to pass out. What do they give you to raise your blood sugar so you don't hit the floor? Orange juice. Maybe a donut too if you're lucky, but orange juice because it is a quick, fast acting sugar. If you take a type one diabetic and their sugars are plummeting, they're going on that, that pendulum swing of low to high and they're on the downswing and they need to get their sugars up quickly so they don't drop too low too fast, they drink orange juice. So are we really going to start the day with orange juice for a type two diabetic? And this is the knowledge of an endocrinologist's office. This is what you get. All right. That's the end of my soapbox for endos. Now we move on to, we'll move on to general practitioners, PCPs. Listen, they can do a really great job. You have a much better chance, a much, much better chance working with a general practitioner, your PCP, your primary care doctor, maybe their nurse practitioner in the office. You have a much better chance than an endo, but you have to find one that is open-minded and doesn't let, is not ego driven, meaning they want to help you. I have many patients like this, that we're working with their doctor, instead of seeing one of my team that we're working for prescriptions, we're working with their doctor because they came to me and they said, listen, I have this doctor, I have this nurse practitioner that is really good and they care, and and I've been going to them for years, and they know my struggle. They know I can't lose weight. They know I'm so fatigued. It's insane, but they just, they, they don't know what to do. Okay, so in that case, that is an open-minded doc. That's an open-minded nurse practitioner that genuinely wants their patients to get better. Last time I checked, that's what medicine was supposed to be. Like, do no harm, and make shit better, like make these people better. That's the ultimate goal. So if you have a PCP that cares, that genuinely wants you better, then that is a great sign. And there is hope there because we can work with that. We can totally work with that. Okay, now we're gonna move on to naturopathic doctors. When we look at their training, naturopathic physicians, NDs, naturopathic doctors, they go through an accredited four-year graduate level school studying the sciences very similar to those studied in conventional medicine school. So they really are trained very, very well. They try to use natural methods of treatment. They don't jump right to, let's say, the band-aids of conventional medicine, like here's an antidepressant, here's a statin, here's a blood pressure medication, here's a sleeping pill. They, but they do try to treat naturally where possible, but they also don't discount the use of medication. So I really, I mean, I have NDs in my mastermind group They're amazing. I have NDs as part of my team. They're amazing. But just like anything, right? Just like there's good chiropractors and bad chiropractors. Just like anything, you have to do your research. So very, and this is going to be very, very similar to functional medicine practitioners as well. You have to find one that actually specializes in the thyroid, in hormones, because like I said, if you, if you work with a naturopathic doctor, we're going to throw integrative in there too. So naturopathic doctor, an integrative doctor, all of them, they, they tend to practice non-invasive self-healing, but we're not going to discount the use of some medications when necessary. All of them do that. But if they specialize, let's say, and you've heard me say this over and over again, it bears repeating. And please, I I don't discount the importance of the gut. The gut is a big deal. The gut is your first line of defense for your immune system. T4 and T3 conversion, some of it happens in the gut. 90% of our serotonin, that happy neurotransmitter, 
that most of the time you're getting, you know, an SSRI, like an antidepressant because you're not happy. That is part of the, the 90% is made in the gut. So yes, the gut has vital, vital importance. If you got leaky gut, you're going to have inflammation. That's going to screw up your thyroid. It's going to cause weight gain. It's going to cause brain fog and all the symptoms you're dealing with. The gut is important, but let's say you work with a naturopathic doctor whose specialty is the gut. Let's say you work with a integrative wellness physician and they're like, listen, we're going to heal your gut, even though you're walking around with low T3 and they're not giving you T3 medication, then you might want to rethink that before you drop a couple grand, right? You just might want to rethink it a little bit and do a little bit more research. So do I believe in NDs? Yes. Integrated physicians? Yes. Functional medicine practitioners? Functional medicine doctors? Yes. I am one. Of course, I believe in functional medicine. We get to the root cause. But sometimes, sometimes that functional term should be stripped away. I'm telling you, I just texted this to my friend. I want a governing board that if a functional integrative or naturopathic doctor does not test or treat functionally, does not use the functional medicine optimal lab values, which we always talk about, right? We can't go by conventional lab value ranges that are huge and wide and ginormous and that you feel like shit if you're at the bottom end of, but your doctor tells you that you're normal and everything's fine. We can't do that. And there are functional and integrative and naturopathic practitioners that still are stuck in conventional medicine. You know why? Because functional really has become the new buzzword. It's great for marketing now because I think people are getting sick of the conventional medicine system and they are starting to look elsewhere. And you keep hearing chatter about functional medicine, functional medicine. Mark Hyman has brought it really to the forefront of the general population by starting the functional medicine department at Cleveland Clinic. But I got to tell you, folks, I am right here in your PA. I am a stone throw from Cleveland Clinic. Do you know how many people I get that go to functional medicine, Cleveland Clinic department? And you're not going to meet with Mark Hyman, by the way. You got about a year and a half wait, maybe for that, if he's still seeing patients, which I don't think he is. You're going to get one of the docs that they pulled into their program, trained as an MD or a DO, that might take on some of the functional practices because, hey, it's a job and it's a great place to work with Benny's, but they don't practice that way. They don't practice that way. I have, I mean, at least, especially when I had my brick and mortar office locally and I would get people actually driving in to see me. Oh my gosh, the testing, the testing. TSH, free T4 only. No, I'm sorry, we don't test reverse T3. What? You're the functional medicine department in Cleveland Clinic. So I always tell people that go there, it is a crapshoot as to who you get. So if you get stuck with, you know, Susie Q, MD, who is still stuck in her conventional ways, then again, you, you might as well, you might as well go back to your endocrinologist back home and save a trip. And you might, you might, there are some good ones. You might get placed with a doctor that is actually functionally trained and actually treats functionally and actually tests functionally and deserves the title of a functional medicine provider at the functional medicine department at Cleveland Clinic. But you got to be careful. I'm telling you that label is used so much these days because of marketing. Think back to the 80s. Everything was low fat, right? Because it got you to buy it. How many of you binged on Snackwell's cookies? because they were fat-free or low-fat, right? Everybody used that marketing term. Take right now. Oh my gosh, we can use right now. Keto. How many products out there have the keto terminology and you flip it over and you look at the label and they're using keto in terms of net carbs instead of total carbs and there's like 20 carbs, but but we have a bunch of fiber in it. So it brings it down to five carbs. So therefore we can call it keto. Like Slim Fast has a keto line, right? That's a joke. That's a total, it's not keto. It's gonna jack your insulin, your blood sugar up. Using certain terms in marketing, that's business. That's business, folks. And unfortunately, you're the victims of that. 
You're the victims of good marketing because you dropped two grand, four grand, 10 grand. I see this all the time and people coming to me. So these numbers are not out of the ballpark at all. You drop this money on a quote unquote functional doctor and you're no better than before you paid all that money because they don't specialize in thyroid and hormones. And that is your problem. And you know, it's your problem. Number one, you're either stuck on center and you're going, I don't feel any better. I'm in these groups seeing people ask all the same questions as I am. Yep, I have brain fog. Yep, I got constipation. My energy's in the toilet. 100%. I am not optimized on my T4 only. Or you're going, wait, I have these heavy periods. I'm not sure if I'm in menopause. Maybe I'm in perimenopause. I'm really moody. All of a sudden, I put on like 15 pounds in two months. My, my family's asking me, what the hell's wrong with me? Why am I acting so bitchy? I can't get out of bed in the morning. I used to be able to spring out at 6 a.m. Now I'm hitting the snooze until 7.30. I need 10 cups of coffee to get going. I'm trying to eat well. I'm trying to get to the gym. But some days I'm so damn tired. My body hurts. My shoulder hurts. I can't lose weight. So you know something's wrong with you right? And all of those symptoms are thyroid related and hormone related. And when I say hormones, I mean the sex hormones, progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, DHEA, pregnenolone. Remember insulin is a hormone too, as is cortisol. So I'm talking about the whole deal, right? We're not leaving out insulin. We're not leaving out your adrenals. It's the whole picture. That is what is going on. And unless you specialize or unless you work with someone that specializes in that, in thyroid and hormones, you're going to be no better off at the end of the day. So I want you to understand the difference between all of them, but I also want you to look a little bit deeper. I have no problem when someone books a discovery call with myself and my team and they ask questions. Because if I can't answer their questions, shame on me. And by that, I mean, okay, let me clarify. If you ask me, do I know how to treat interstitial cystitis? The answer is going to be not really. That's not my specialty. You're going to want to find an interstitial cystitis, cystitis, say that five times fast today, interstitial cystitis specialist. You're going to want to find that because that's not my jam. But if you ask me or my team, does Dr. Amy use T3? Well, you you got to listen to me more because you know that I do. Does Dr. Amy test reverse T3? Does she test free T3? Does she test my insulin? Does she test my A1C? Does she test all the hormones? Because I know I'm a woman and I have more than estrogen, FSH, and LH. Does she test all that? Does she treat that? Does she use bioidentical hormones? Yeah. Do I use, free T- do I use T3 medication? Yeah. Am I open to NDT? Yeah. So ask those questions before you even schedule. Now, you might get bullshit too. I mean, again, just like using the term functional, you might be bullshit, not by me (laughs) and my team, but if you're calling around other functional practitioners, you might get bullshitted and you might still drop the money and be disappointed afterwards. But again, if if you keep your eyes open and you listen enough, like if you listen to me, right? You're listening to this podcast. If you listen to me enough, you're going to get to know me really, really well. And if you've been listening for a while, you know exactly how I treat. You know exactly what I look at. My whole both and, right? I'm always talking about the both and. Of course, we're looking at your nutrition and we're looking at your thyroid. And we're not just going to do one without the other because you can't eat cheats at McDonald's and me throw some thyroid medication at you and and think that you're going to get better. You're not. Both and we have to treat insulin and thyroid. We have to treat hormones and thyroid and insulin and do nutrition and talk lifestyle and figure out your exercising and figure out how many times you should intermittent fast. It's the both and philosophy. So I have no problem spelling that out. And you, if you're listening to me, know that by now. So if you can find a way to get to know a practitioner a little bit better like you do me, And then do that because that will give you a lot of insight into how they think and how they treat and how they test and what your experience will be. 
And you also have to jive with that person, right? Many of you know, I am very, just, this is me. This is me when we work together too. I will tell it to you like it is. I will not tell you what you want to hear. I will tell you what you need to hear. Yes, we will be making some lifestyle changes. Yes, you're not going to eat sheets and McDonald's and think that you're going to do okay on my program. And you're not going to battle me on everything that I say. You got to trust me. You got to do what I tell you to do. Because if you don't get better, then that's on me. If you don't do what I tell you to do, then that's on you. And you can keep suffering. So you see, (laughs) just like that kind of blunt, right? That is what you get when you work with me. And that is why I work with a lot of type A drivers, badass people that actually want to freaking get better and not sit around and whine and complain about it. I don't want the whiners. I don't want the complainers. If, if, if you want a magic fairy dust pill, that's not me. But there might be practitioners out there that are like that. I mean, you might jive better with somebody else that is a little bit more timid, a little bit more quiet, like, you know, pets you a little bit, strokes your ego. You have to find somebody that you jive with. And you have to find somebody that specializes in thyroid and hormones. And that's it. It's that simple, but it's, it's not that simple for you as the patient because you are bombarded with information. What should I do? Who should I see? And then one last thing we have to touch on. I've talked about this before. Many of you are caught in the insurance trap and I get it, right? We all want to save money. We all want our insurance to cover things because that's what we pay insurance for. That's why that's we pay like 500 a month or a thousand a month for our insurance. So you actually want to, you know, kind of use it, right? But the reality is insurance companies, and I give this answer many, many times when people ask me if I take insurance, the answer is no. And and the reason why is because insurance companies will only pay for a five to seven minute visit. Now, that's what got you here in the first place or your little five to seven minute visits that produce zero results. And that's why you're still suffering. That's why you're on T4 only. And that's why you have a bunch of Band-Aid medications in your cupboard because that's all they're doing. Band-Aid, 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 Band-Aid. Get the hell out of my office. That's all insurance is going to pay for. I can't spend more than seven minutes with you. I'll lose money. That's your typical doctor experience. And nothing against that. Listen, if you got a cold, go in, whatever. Get checked out. You know, if you break your arm, go to the ER, pay your $150 copay and get your arm fixed. For goodness sake, that's what it's for. But if you want time, If you want somebody that cares, if you want somebody that's going to look at your labs and break it down and go, okay, this is, I know this isn't flagged high and this isn't flagged low, but when we put the whole picture together and I'm listening to you, tell me your story and your symptoms. And if you want that kind of time and care and attention, you're probably going to have to pay out of pocket because insurance companies will not pay for that. And practitioners like myself can't afford to give 90 minutes of their time plus access to me as we as I work with patients. So I'm answering emails all day long from patients. And then another 30 minute follow up and another 30 minute follow up, another 30 minute follow up and another 30 minute follow up. Insurance isn't going to pay for that. They're just not. Now HSAs will if you have an HSA card, sure. FSA card, yeah. But insurances are not going to pay for that. So that's kind of the insurance conundrum that many of you are in. That's why I say, listen, if you have a good PCP that's open-minded, if you have a good nurse practitioner that's open-minded, we can work with that, but you're still going to need my guidance and my time. So you still are paying out of pocket for my services because of the amount of time that you get. And that really is the case with naturopathic doctors, all functional medicine practitioners, and many, many, many integrative physicians, integrative doctors, integrative practitioners, whatever they call themselves. So that's kind of, you know, the insurance conundrum. It's a sticky subject, but it's just true. If you think about your typical visit to a doctor, you're in, you're out. They're not really sitting down, going over everything, asking you how you feel versus a 90-minute in-depth consultation just to start just to start, that really is the difference. So I want to touch on that briefly. But that is the breakdown. What doctor should I choose? Which route should I go? That really is the breakdown of what is available to you. 
as a thyroid patient or as a patient that doesn't know if they have a thyroid problem or not, but you have all of the symptoms that we always, always, always talk about. And I hope this helps guide you in what direction to go. And hopefully I'll be seeing many of you get off the hamster wheel of trying to find answers and stop suffering. And let's actually get you on the path to getting fixed and feeling better and living an optimal life. You can do this. You can have your life back. You really can. That's why I preach hope all the time because you can absolutely get your life back. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I hope you loved it. And as always, if you would be so kind to leave a review, if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, that would be absolutely amazing. I read all of them. Also, anything that you hear on this podcast is not intended to diagnose or treat any kind of medical condition. So we always recommend that you check with your medical provider, your doctor, your nurse practitioner before implementing anything that you hear on this podcast. And if you want to find out more about working together, you can click the link below in the show notes to book a discovery call. And there you'll be talking to a member of my team. They are an extension of me. They are amazing. And you and I will talk after that once we get you all signed up and you and I get to work together. All right. I hope to see you soon.